Let me ask you a question. Does 2 plus 2 equal 4? Of course it does, you say. Let me ask you another question then. Is 2 plus 2 identical to 4? On the left side of the equal sign, you have two numbers and an operation sign. On the right side of the equal sign, you have only a single number, the number 4. Thus, while 2 plus 2 equals 4, nevertheless, 2 plus 2 is not identical to 4. Not everything that can be said of the expression on the left side of the equal sign would be true of the expression on the right side of the equal sign. Here is the second question. Do four quarters equal a dollar? Of course, four quarters are equal in buying power to a dollar, but clearly four quarters are not identical to a dollar. Now let's apply this to the Holy Trinity. While each of the three persons in the Trinity are equal and that they are the same God, nevertheless, they are not identical to one another. Let me put it another way. While the propositions that define God to be God are common to all three persons of the Holy Trinity, there are nevertheless propositions that define the Son to be the Son that are not common to the propositions that define either the person of the Father or the person of the Holy Spirit. For example, the proposition, I died for the sins of the elect is a proposition that would only apply to the person of the Son and not to the persons of the Father or the Holy Spirit. Likewise, the proposition, I sent my Son into the world, is a proposition that would only apply to the person of the Father and not the Son or the Holy Spirit. Thus, while the three persons are the same God, they are nevertheless not identical to one another. While they cannot be separated from one another, they can nevertheless be distinguished from one another. Therefore the doctrine of the Holy Trinity is not contradictory. We do not claim God is three in the same sense that He is one. There is only one true God, and the three distinct persons are that one true God.